Okay, hello everyone. This is a continuation of uh, my previous plays, playthroughs for Bloodborne, my uh, Blood Level 4 run. Um, for anybody kind of new to this concept, um, basically I'm going to be continuing this bottom character, the Maria character. Um, the conceit is that I'm going to be playing through the whole game without ever leveling my character up. So you'll see some of the other characters where I'm like level 10, 65, 160, 170, you know, much, much stronger. So basically no extra damage um, except for what I can get from upgrading my weapon, no extra health, no extra stamina, um, just base stats through the whole game. So this is a, a challenge run. Um, and if there's Anybody watching, if you could just confirm that you can hear me, I want to make sure that the mic is, is working properly. Um, just a quick message in the um, Twitch chat would be really appreciated. Um, just to let me know that uh, everything is coming through okay. Um, but basically what I'm going to be doing now, um, I've already cleared through most of the, uh, I'd say about first third of the game, I just finished beating um vicar amelia so for now i'm going to be moving on to um the next few areas but before i do that i'm going to see if i can uh get my weapon up to a plus nine right now it is a plus six claw uh saw cleaver um i'm also using the hunter's blunderbuss as my main gun of choice um, and, uh, I'm going to try to get that up to a, a plus nine because that is going to make it a lot easier to fight some of the bosses that are coming up. I'm just gonna run past these guys. So, one of the things with a blood level, uh, four run is, um, you don't typically want to do a ton of fighting if you can help it. Um, especially once we start to get later in the game, some of the enemies are going to be incredibly strong. So the less I have to fight them, ugh, the, <laughs> the better off I'm going to be. Um, a quick shout out, hello Danny and Kanani. Good to see you guys. Should not be getting in the middle of a fight with this guy. Alright. So. Also got a bunch of souls that I need to spend at some point. He doesn't sound like he's doing well. So I need to. You. You're not from around here, are you? Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from our castle. Okay, he's kind of an asshole, so I'm actually going to leave him there. Oh, my, what a queer scent. I take it over the scent of blood and beast any day. What is it, then? I'm off during hunts, and besides, this is no place for ladies. Wouldn't want to drag you down, too. <laughs> Please, 
All right, I'm going to send her to Odin Chapel. Um, she is a character by the name of Ariana. Um, she is a lady of the night, and she ends up being incredibly important to um, accessing a certain boss later in the game. Um, Woo! Forgot about that flamethrower. Okay, so we're gonna have to run back and get get those souls, because I do not want to have to just throw away 20,000 souls. Granted, um, in this kind of playthrough, losing souls is not nearly as, as a big deal as, um, and a playthrough where I can level up. Um, if I lose souls here, it's not like I'm losing out on levels. I'm losing out on, like, currency to buy, you know, things like healing items, um, the, the fire paper, bolt paper, which I use to buff my weapons. So, um, it's not good, but it's not awful either. And that thing that I just picked up is what I'm going to use to access the DLC later on. Um, so for now... Let me actually see if I can get... I'm going to try to get an item that will let me access an area um, that I need to get to so I can upgrade my weapon a little bit higher. Hopefully I can get that now. I think I might have to wait a little bit longer though. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. Outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> So that's Gilbert. Hi, Gilbert. Um, he is not doing well, but he's kind of a cool, cool dude. Um, we are going to visit him after um, after we beat two more bosses. So in Blood Level Four, um, Danny, to answer your question, I don't level up. I, I can upgrade my weapons, but not my character at all. So I'm basically relying solely on um, my weapon to do damage, and then basically just doing the best I can to dodge and avoid taking damage, because at some point I'm going to start getting hit so hard that um, enemies will either kill me in one shot or come pretty darn close to it. So that should be fun we'll see it's honestly like there's going to be some bosses that i'm probably going to have a little bit of a tough time on but the um the dlc bosses are are the ones that i'm most worried about um and this is ariana <laughs> so 
So my next boss is going to be the Shadows of Yarnum. Um, but again, before I do that, I want to um, raise my level a little bit. Uh, or at least raise my weapons level. Just because trying to take them on without a stronger weapon is going to be probably very difficult. Let's get the... Uh, see if I can get my blood echoes back first. Alright, who has my echoes? Who has them? Guessing this guy probably has my echoes. Yep, you can see by the way his eyes are glowing. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the dream real quick. See if I can make it to the lantern in the next area. And here's our old friend Alfred. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. There's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lagarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bourbonworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. So I the vile bloods. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. The vile bloods are basically like vampires of this world. Um, and we are going to get a chance to um meet their queen and visit Kanehurst Castle at some point. Um, alright. There's a little bit of spookiness there. The guy guarding that door has been dead this entire time. Uh, let me do this. I always like having this thing on. The Forbidden Woods. So I'm actually going to be running through a lot of this area. Ooh, never mind. Let me try that again. So I'm actually looking forward to this, um, eventual fight with the Shadows of Yarnum because they are going to be probably my biggest challenge so far. Um, they 
are kind of a huge roadblock for a lot of these playthroughs. Um, hopefully that plus nine weapon will help out a lot. But um, so far I've been pretty lucky. I've only really ever died. Um, I've only ever died against the um, Bloodstar Beast in terms of uh, going up against bosses. So far I've been able to, to kill all of the bosses on my first attempt. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off with the shadows, but we will see. Unfortunately, I don't have to go too far to get my echoes back. So we're just gonna avoid you guys. Alright. So I just gotta see if we need to get um, more blood vials or if we need fire paper or bolt paper. So let's take a look. Uh, 61 blood vials. 13 and 14. So let's just get some more blood vials. running by a lot of this, so... Eventually, these guys are going to stop following me. Shady bastard. <laughs> 